Hey, what's going on guys? John here, back at it again, and today we're talking about the Tesla recall, where NHTSA has put out saying that it is a safety concern, and Tesla has to do something about that. Now, if you guys can recall the software update back about a year ago, 40.4.10, it was the first update that gave us the rolling stop feature. This is especially important and useful in California, where you don't make complete stops. Now, I'm not saying that this is only useful in California, I'm seeing even up north where I am, not a lot of people are stopping. 100% at a stoplight it's just very inconvenient when there's nobody around making that complete stops really slows everyone down especially people waiting behind you stopping 100% at every single stoplight really slows everybody down hence the rolling stop feature that Tesla released now of course this feature is optional you don't have to roll at every single stop and it won't roll at every single stop you can put it into assertive mode and that's when it's gonna do that now I want you to keep in mind that it doesn't roll through every single stop there is a lot of trigger points letting it do what it needs to do so if there's no cars around there's no pedestrian there's literally nothing stopping it it will roll through but if there is any of the previously mentioned items and a bunch of other things it will stop 100% so just yesterday they released a report which I will be posting in the description below and I'll have it on the screen right here for you to see briefly it does just tell you exactly what is going on why they're issuing the safety recall and what Tesla needs to do so of course Elon Musk went online to Twitter and mentioned all the ridiculous things but in the end they did push out that update and surprisingly enough Tesla really acted upon this and released the update just a few hours ago so it should be available on your car if you do have FSD beta now this is gonna be FSD beta 10.10 that is the internal build but if you're looking for the more generic build that everybody is used to it is 2021.40.35.15 so that's the build you're looking for you're probably gonna be getting it, like I said, if you do have FSD beta. All right, so just briefly looking at the notes here on FSD beta, it does say that disabled rolling functionality on all FSD profiles, this feature used to let you stop on certain scenarios. And they've listed all the scenarios for you to see. I'm gonna be listing it in the description as well. But there you have it, that's pretty much the gist of this. Now unfortunately, I don't know if Tesla will ever return the rolling stop feature. I know up in Canada here, we're gonna be getting FSD beta very soon. And this is in a very different jurisdiction. It's in a different country. So I'm not sure if this has to do, and this has to apply with Canada as well. But I'm assuming it's pretty much the same thing. Now up here, honestly, every single stop that I do I never do a complete stop I'm rolling into it and just shooting away if there is nobody around and I'm sure if there are cops around they're really gonna be forgiving when it is just a roll of one to two miles and you're off so that is not such a big deal so yeah that pretty much wraps it up for this little video here let me know what you guys think below I obviously am against this I really want the rolling stop feature I really want all the features that I've been watching online to be in my car and to be testing it very soon and just a quick little update here Elon Musk did say that Canada is going to be getting it this month for sure. He went from two to four weeks and now we're just above that a little bit. So hopefully the first rollout is going to be this upcoming week. But anyways, guys, this should wrap it up for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button right up top there. And once again, this is John. Peace out.